scored a goal, which was really exciting. And um, the kids are hanging out. Brian is doing dinner. And I am finishing up an edit that hopefully will go live at the end of this week. Yes. But um, as soon as I finish this up, I am going to move on to getting my patron up. So I thought you guys could keep me company while I get this done. Because I kind of need some motivation. I need some motivation because I don't want to do this right now. I want to do something else. But I think that it is important. I feel like it might be more of a priority than all of the other things that I want to get done right now. So let's chat. Um, I wanted to do a more formal video about Patreon. I just picked this mug up from Target and I love it so much. Look, it's like the perfect shade of blue. And it's got all these beautiful triangles going in and throughout it. This little piece of color blocking right here. And this chocolate colored handle it's so pretty isn't it pretty you guys so i was talking about patron and i plan on doing a whole video just kind of explaining all the bits and pieces of patron i also plan on um adding a video to it and doing a whole launch and all this other stuff and then i thought to myself let's pipe it down a little bit serena <laughs> Because I think I'm getting to the point where I am waiting till things are perfect or, you know, somewhat perfect in my eyes to go ahead and open up the patron. Um, but I thought that today would be a good day to just kind of sit down and Brian was really in encouraging me to do so. We got back from the soccer game and he's handling dinner. So it's kind of perfect timing for me to just kind of get my computer out and um update what i can on my patreon page and just make it live so i just wanted to explain what it is and um why i think it's a really good fit for um growing in this space growing in our youtube channels and in my businesses in general really we are all about living loving and learning together that's what i want to add to you know anywhere on my social platforms um i hope that you get that from me um another thing that i really want to add and share in these videos is just um joy i'd like to be some kind of avenue or vessel um of joy and love um that hopefully by me sharing can add a little bit of that to your day and i say joy in particular because happiness is so dependent upon what you have going on or what you have happening in your life and joy is something that you hold on to regardless of what's happening in your life and so i know we're all going through different things at any different time and any gift you know different season and so i just think that um that social spaces whether it be instagram or um facebook or um blogs or these youtube spaces are an incredible way to be able to put something out there that can add to someone's day and so i just want to be sure that whatever i'm sharing yes is um a little bit of documenting what we are doing in our lives but i i feel like i'm in a sense welcoming you into my home and i kind of think of it like if you were to come here and spend time with me inside of my home um how would i treat you how would you feel um and i pray that you would feel uh peace and joy and just love and I don't know just surrounded by all those good things and so when i make these youtube videos of course i want to document um but i share because i'm hoping that 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 you would feel that on the other end and that no matter what you're experiencing throughout your days that it could be like a little piece or sense of joy um to help you move through your day if that makes any sense I said all that to say that I kind of struggled with how I would share because it takes up a lot of time and energy and effort and all those other things. Um, and I never wanted to be stuck to any one thing. Uh, so I never wanted to be stuck to just photography or just homeschool. Um, 
or just anything else for that matter, just home decor. I feel like all of those pieces are intertwined in our lives, especially us as moms and ex you know, even more, um, ex even more especially. <laughs> oh gosh. And even more so us homeschool moms, you know, like we're more than just um, homeschool teachers. We're more than just wives. We're more than just um, creatives. We just all encompassing and it's a great thing. And I want to be able to not ignore those bits and pieces. A lot of times I will come up with different options and ways that I can grow in business and this could be sustainable for me to be able to spend the amount of time that I'm spending on these videos and blog posts and things like that. And you guys know I'm not a huge fan of the numbers, so I've never been too comfortable pushing like subscriber counts. Um, I just always want to be to the place and and I hope I don't sound all high and mighty, but it's something that I work on a lot. Overcoming, um, not getting wrapped up in that race that says I need more, I need more. And recently I've been feeling more of that. Um, oh, I have 7,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel, but I need more, I need 10. Um, and there's so many things that make you feel that way. For instance, um, one thing that is kind of frustrating to me is, so if I were to share on my stories that my homeschool mom routine video was live, and then you see the little see more arrow that pops up so you can just swipe it and go straight to the video. Well, I don't have that option because I don't have enough followers, you know? So I've, the systems are designed for you to want more no matter how hard you try it's a little bit difficult to overcome when you know subscriber counts and follower counts are really not your goal it's been challenging for me um because like i said it's really easy to get up and oh i need more followers more subscribers and so because that's not something that i wanted it's just been hard for me to find a place to grow so in that space i think i'm grateful for slow growth uh, because it gives me more space to go ahead and think about what I really want. Um, I know that I have so many people asking me for um, printables, but that's really not my thing. It's not my thing to create um, learning sets and printables and things like that. However, I do create quite a bit for myself in my own homeschool, and I would love to be able to share that um, with you all just in case it is helpful. With all of that being said, <laughs> there's just so many other things that I've considered over time. Um, like for instance, teachers pay teachers. But there are some things that I did not like about it. Um, number one, a lot of times when I, when I create something for our homeschool, I'm not doing all the extra bits and pieces that make them complete enough to be able to share with others, if that makes any sense. And there's extra work involved in that, um, learning where to host them so that they're easily downloadable. A lot of times, um, if you go to download something, then you have to subscribe to a blog that is very spammy. And I don't want to be that either. Um, so I just, I didn't like those options. Then I considered, like I said, teachers pay teachers, and I didn't really like that option either. And that's because, like I said, I'm not a printable maker. I just want to be able to share what I make in my homeschool that works for us. And I also didn't like the idea that, um, of having to list certain printables separately. So if you were interested in my planning pages and you'd have to pay, you know, I don't know, $5 for the set of planning pages. And then you did that and then you saw um, my book here, book notes, and you had to pay $5 for that book notes set. And then that type of stuff can add up quite a bit of which is fine if it's working well for you in your homeschool. I had a hard time with that with Teachers Pay Teachers. I didn't wanna list all my things separately um, because I wanted to make sure that it might work um, for you. And for me, I don't know about you, but my what I spent my money on is really important. Um, and those little things can add up and you can end up with 20, 30 printables that are just sitting in files and not serving you. And maybe they will down the line, but they don't serve you today. And I don't know, that just matters to me. I know that sometimes 
there are seasons when the printables that I make, the planning pages that I make work so well for us. Then there are other seasons where I'm not using them at all. Then another season where I pick them up and I'm using them every day again, you know? So, I don't know, I just felt, I felt indifferent about it. So, I'm gonna try to get to the point, but. <laughs> Patron is basically, it's, I don't know, I had a hard time with it because it felt very new. But then also there was once a time where YouTube was very, very new. Um, and I think that I had to get over that. Uh, that fear of trying something new. What I like about Patron is that I see huge potential in it allowing me to create a quaint little space slash community. Um, and I really like the idea of it. On Patron, I would be able to share services. Um, I get asked quite a bit about consultations, which I hate the word consultations because even though that's what it is, I'd rather think of them as sit down like coffee chats with your girlfriends about, you know, how to just run your household better and how to make your homeschool better. So, um, so I like that I could offer up a service, um, something like that. Then I could also, um, share printables and downloads that we're using in our homeschool um, that I could also create a space where I'm hearing directly from the people that are for me and in social spaces it's kind of hard you get a lot of followers for you know a season for whatever reason but there are so many of you that have been with me from the beginning or even um, have found me recently, but it feels like it's been forever. And I want to hear more from you. And I want to be able to feel like I'm talking directly to you and giving directly back to you. And I feel like patron will give me a space to do that. Um, one thing I talked about a while ago was being able to do a lot more giveaways. And I started to do that actually giveaways that are homeschool related that are related to our businesses the falco and the falco kids just a bunch of different things i am in this space of business to give to give of whatever gifts i have and um whatever things whatever things that i create i'm in it to give i really really am and um so i was really pumped about the idea of doing more and more giveaways but after doing maybe like three or four giveaways i felt a little strange because the nature of a giveaway is you show these items people want it they share they share with someone new people new come in your space um to win the items that you're giving which is understandable that's a lot of time that's how people find you a lot of times which is good but the hard part is that you have quite a bit of people that are coming just to win something and that don't stick around long enough or, or stay to be a part of your space and a part of your community, which is fine. But I felt like I wanted to be able to give those of you that have been around for a long time or will be around for a long time, I wanted to give you more of an advantage so that I could feel like I was giving directly to you those of you who give so much to me by supporting us and comments and sweet emails and things like that and i felt like i wasn't um i felt like i was doing more giving away um or extending the opportunities more to just more people you know to try to get more people to come in and the reality is i just want to love on you guys well I want to love on you guys well, you know, like find your tribe and just love them hard. And that's kind of what I would like to do. But I was frustrated because I'm like, this system of how I would conduct giveaways is not really lending itself to that. And I'll still do giveaways in that way, but I'm like, how can I create a space where I'm giving to those people that are give to me so much? Because you guys, your encouragement your emails and things even though i'm not always able to get back to everyone and i try so hard i do <laughs> um they mean so much to me um they just mean so much 
and on those days i do a lot of uh, encouraging myself but on those days where i'm struggling it's those type of words that you guys speak into my life that really help me keep it moving so uh the way patron works is it's basically a space where um i can create tiers um tiers under which you would sign up to support and the tiers are set by me so there could be a one dollar tier a two dollar tier a three dollar tier a five dollar tier whatever i choose to set them at and then based on um, the tier that you have joined you receive the rewards that are specified for that particular tier that you've joined here is why i like it i like it because you can simply join with as little as one dollar it's a month-to-month -month payment but it's a dollar and also you can cancel anytime and i really like that um i like that because i understand i know what it's like to not be able to afford a five dollars you know but i can honestly say that even in all of my struggles and challenges during our homeschool journey i could always swing a dollar <laughs> like a dollar a month is something i could swing especially if i could cancel any time i like that because it's kind of like the minimum amount amount is a dollar for membership and you join this space that is this cozy little space that's just us and then there's these different rewards and um rewards for the tiers and i can offer different things at different times my tiers are really simple they're mostly going to allow me to continue to do what i'm already doing but more consistently one example is um just kind of like behind the scenes stuff that i'm all for sharing but when you're open to the entire internet it gets a little strange because you're trying to figure out who you're talking to and you know are these people for you and i guess in a sense i don't know all of you as well but i know so many of you like you guys think i don't no, but I know, I know so many of you. I know your names and I know that um, the little bits and pieces of your world that you've chosen to share with me. It's so much so that I even think about, especially those of you who started in the very beginning following me and communicating with me and i haven't talked to you in a while but i always think of you and i'm always praying for you i mean i literally know your names um and even to the point where i thought it was a little weird like should i reach out and email them back and ask them how they're doing <laughs> but i like that i i like being in that space anyway um i also like the idea they're playing in there um, I, like, I like the idea of being able to put my patrons as priority. So if there's a list of questions that I'm getting quite a lot, I need the voice to be clear from the people who are directly communicating with me. So when I get requests just randomly on Instagram or on YouTube or through email, well, it would be so nice to know to whom I should be giving priority, you know? Those of you who are watching every single day from beginning to the end of each video, I feel like you should get, you know, I should prioritize your request and things that you've asked to see. And I think that would make our relationship, this little virtual relationship even stronger. But I can't do that with all of the internet. So I like that Patreon gives me, um, presents, an opportunity to be able to just kind of develop a deeper connection and relationship and it's also really nice because i feel like i can get behind growing there and i really like that the tricky thing is that um once i once i make my printables and things available um to my patrons and you join you'd have access to all of those printables. I'm pretty sure that there will probably be people that join just to gain access and then leave. And that's a risk that I take that I don't mind. Talking about things where money exchanges is a little, can be different for some people. This in no way, shape or form is you um, 
exchanging your monies for something that I'm going to be able to um, completely commit to. So if that's what you're looking for, there's so many other things out there that you can um, be a part of or join and things like that. This is kind of like grow with me, um, be my friend, uh, get to know me, that type of deal. And it's a space that would serve us so well because we'd be able to prioritize um, the people that we're sharing with and that we're talking to. By the end of this video, I am going to have my patron up and live. <laughs> so I'm really excited about that. I'm excited about it not being perfect and growing together and seeing how I can serve you guys and we can just enjoy um, one another through this like amazing medium that is cameras and internet and all that stuff that can be used for good. So let me stop chatting and get to work because I'm procrastinating. <laughs> I'm finishing up this edit and I'm having to pull myself away because I really want to finish this, but I'm not going to. I am not going to finish it. I am going to move on here. Gonna move on, see? Okay, guys, it's all done. I'm finally finished. It's not perfect, but it is done. And look at this cute little confetti that they put all over the screen when you finally launch the page. <laughs> okay, and basically, um, I added a banner up here. It says, the Falco family is creating videos, printables, and things for the journey. I set up my whole about section. With I would like to have a video right at the very top here. That's just gonna be like my welcome um, to my patron page. And just a quick overview of patron and what it is. But I haven't done that just yet, so I'm just gonna leave that part blank and nobody else will know except for you guys, of course. <laughs> Uh, I did include this video here because I think that it is pretty telling of who we are or who I am and um, a lot of what we have going on. So I just used that one. Yeah, you guys. So I am really excited. I'm excited because I've been thinking about this for a very long time and it's been on my to-do list and now it is finally to done. <laughs> that shows you how tired I am. It is done, it's not perfect. I'm gonna adjust and make changes and things like that, but now I can go ahead and start loading my printables and things and just growing this space. I am super excited um, to see who my very first few patrons are going to be, you guys. I am a little bit nervous, but yeah, nerves is always a good indicator of being onto something, so we're just gonna go with it. I am exhausted and I'm so, so grateful to Brian who handled all the um, nightly things so that I could get this accomplished. All done. Thank you guys so much for keeping me company. I needed it and I feel so accomplished right now. <laughs> and I will see you in the next video. Bye.